I guess that kind of leads us nicely onto like what what can I do to be prepared to go into uh, an SEN setting? Yeah, absolutely. And I think so. The best advice um, I was ever given, um, and I think it works well for NQTs or anyone who is who is new to an SEN setting, is just ask questions. Um, every child comes with an emotional healthcare plan, uh, which is provided and devised by the local authority, but it's also devised by the parent and the child itself themselves. Sorry, um, which is fantastic because it puts the child at the forefront of what what um, what their needs are. Um, so as an educator, um, you have you have access accessibility to this e EHC plan. Um, so you can actually see one what what those additional needs are are and how you can provide them. But also it makes the child feel um, feel like you're really trying to understand their needs. Um, and I think it opens up like a really lovely rapport. Um, and it makes you prepared as well, especially if it might be a condition that you've not necessarily worked with the, with yourself. Um, and as well, most schools will provide extra support and training. Um, I know there's a really good website called um, Online Training, which is for SEN teachers. Um, and a lot of schools will support that extra learning. So if, if you are working with a pupil who, who may not have worked with that condition before, um, ask for that extra support and you can actually try and become an expert in that so that you have that extra knowledge I think um, is super great but in terms of general preparation um, I guess just treat it like a mainstream school you know come come with that mindset of you're, you're there for the pupil you're there to provide an excellent service of education um, and bring bring that that passion that you have into teaching um, and try not to let it be on your mind that it is a new setting I think that's yeah exactly. I think that's yeah Sorry, Kelly. You go. I was just, just going to say. I think that's that's perfectly summed up. But Kelly, off you go if you want to. That, no, that's completely perfect. And I think another thing of a teaching side of things. If you're a mainstream teacher moving into an SEN setting, especially if you're about to start a new role as a special needs teacher, what schools before you just go straight in, they're actually happy to get you in to do some observations first. So a kind of a preparation tool if you like that's always conversations that you can have with schools is to go in and observe the pupils from the outside so actually look at and see how the kids are in interacting and most special needs schools would be completely up for an initial chat or, or a, a visit well, obviously post COVID <laughs> um, in, into the school um, to, so you can have a you know a, a good understanding of how it works and you can observe so that you really especially with children that you may I think the biggest question I get is well I don't know what the kids needs are you know how mm. how am I going to be prepared um and like all of the points as you said exactly um and you can even maybe go in you know an afternoon a day before um in, in a lot of cases and just observe the kids so you have um, um a great understanding of when you actually are in the classroom yourself 